Okay. Here we go. So. I'm supposed to finish um one of this to, um, every day. Not today. Yeah, but today. But it looks like I've already done almost three quarters of it. And it's not even midday yet. I don't, I don't know how much water you drink, but I think water is very important. Let me know in the comment section how much water you drink in a day. If you don't drink up to, this is, this is 3.2 liters. Yeah. If you don't drink up to 3.2 liters, you are really not helping your body. And I think um, my wanting to drink water also comes from, uh, I think a kidney stone scare that I got like um, four years ago. Is it four years or five years? Yeah. So yeah, I like to drink a lot of water, but also do not drink too much water. Don't drink 10 liters a day. I think an average of three to four liters for the adults is fine. But um, no, I'm not here to talk about water today. I'm here to talk about something completely different. And uh, I was thinking about this yesterday, which is Sunday, and I actually think that this video should have been recorded yesterday because, you know, I was thinking of recording something to um, motivate anybody who wants to hear it. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. It's just pretty random. And as usual, I'm really, really loving the setup. <laughs> so it's easy for me to just sit here and talk or easy for me to just set up and talk when I have something on my mind. And you guys have also said that you like the random stuff, so I'm gonna be doing a lot more. And there's a lady behind me who had traveled to the Netherlands and she's back. So yeah, usually she would be upstairs working, but since we're doing random, I decided, hey, you know what? You can just feel free and do your work. And wait, let me make sure I'm recording. Yeah, I'm recording. Feel free and do your work and I'll feel free and do my vlog. So yeah, Elaine is in the back there and oh yes, we're going to do a follow up video of why we choose the one we love. So you guys should look out for that. Also coming soon. So in the meantime, yeah, what, what did I want to talk about and why did I want to record this video even yesterday? I wanted to record it yesterday and post it maybe this morning because it's more like a motivational message that I got that I've been thinking about the whole of yesterday. And it's, it's just about looking back, you know, every once in a while. Because we're in November, it's November 16th, and this year, although we've been faced with a lot more challenges than usual, I think overall, this year has been uh, a steady climb, especially for me. Um, because there are a lot of things that I wanted to do that I may have not done all of it or all of them, but I've been able to do so much this year, regardless of everything that has been happening. And it just hit me that, I mean, for ambitious people, perfectionists, people who are their biggest critics and never, you know, have enough or never satisfied with what they get, it's, it's so easy for you to be caught in the, you know, space where you don't really celebrate your progress or you don't even see it in the first place and i've been mentioning this a lot in a lot of videos about you know celebrating your little victories and i, I guess it, when it compounds and you're able to notice it it's it's really something that feels really good like do you remember the time when let me take it all the way back when you were a kid and you were you know wanting to grow up and do things on your own like can you remember the, some of the things that you wanted to do if you were an adult that you would do like you thought maybe as a kid because they don't let you eat ice cream when you grow and you're an adult you eat all the ice cream you want because you can afford it and then you grow up and you start eating the, all the ice cream you want and you realize that oh, it comes with a lot of problems diseases weight gain and all these things that your body doesn't need and on the more positive side you know all the things that maybe from you know, your formative years, I would say from junior high school, when you wanted to become this, you wanted to become that, or you wanted to do certain things that you thought, I mean, you couldn't wait to achieve them. 
And then you look back now and maybe, maybe, just maybe your path has changed. Maybe you're doing something else, but it's something that you love. You've grown, you've evolved. But at the moment, you're actually slaying your own dragons. You're actually, you know, killing it wherever you are. And you are adulting by yourself. I mean, adulting is, I mean, it comes with its own problems. But do you remember like back when you used to want all these things that are coming to you one day at a time? I mean, you're doing it. You are achieving goals. You are doing the things that you said you would do. You are taking care of yourself. You're taking care of the people around you. Do you remember all of th all those things? If you do, or if you don't, then well, today I'm going to remind you that every once in a while, just look back at all the little things that you said you would do more of that you actually are doing them now, but not realizing. And gratitude is something that well, maybe is the basis for this particular video is gratitude and celebrating little victories because the reason why we may not be as happy as we want to be is because we are often caught up in a lot of the things that we're still looking forward to doing instead of enjoying what's in the present while comparing it to where we used to be in the past it could have been worse if you ask me, it could have been worse. But you're here now. You're doing the things you wanted to do. And I get it. I mean, as humans, our basic instinct or we, we are made or we're built to look forward to the future. I mean, we are the only species that um, saves or have been able to, you know, make the future a thing where we look forward to it, where we plan towards it and we achieve for it. But then again, our insatiable want for more can also rob us completely of the joy of what is in the present and what we're doing and it so happens that most of us are caught up in you know how the present is going or how it's not tying into the future they hope to achieve and that brings them down because they can't see the little achievements for what they are so Today is uh, Motivation Monday, and if you're watching this particular video right now, I'm not going to continue rumbling or continue going on. I just wanted to remind you that every once in a while, if you can, if you will, if you should, please try and just take a look back and see how far you've come. It's been an incredible journey for me so far. I mean, I didn't think that from 3rd January when I recorded my first video, I would still be doing what I'm doing now and sitting here and actually <laughs> doing what I want to do and loving it and surviving and being able to, you know, just live. So yeah, I'm really grateful for all the people that I have encountered and all the lessons that I have gotten over the past 11 months. And I think you probably should take the time to do the same if you haven't done that as often as you wanted to yeah so yeah that's it for this video i hope it's very short enough and you should drink your water it's very important i probably finished this before 3 p.m and i'll drink a little more but i'll make sure i'm not going to drown my body internally so yeah my name is kwame and if you like this video Click a thumbs up. If you don't like it, maybe you should do a thumbs up twice. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button. Select all so you get notified anytime I post another video. When I'm not doing YouTube, I'm doing documentary films and voiceovers. And thank you for watching this particular video. I will catch you again very soon in my next video, hopefully featuring my Oh, she hates it when I do my wife. <laughs> so, no. Hopefully featuring Elaine. It will come your way very soon. Cheers. Bye for now.